this is the guy garrick youtube channel where we do something different almost every video what are we doing today Corey? we're buying the best jet skis ever made how many of them uh like 12 a total of 12 but today we pick out nine i got three last night so we got five already there's still more over there and uh we don't really know what we're gonna do with them yet but uh we will uh keep you guys updated on this what are we doing would not recommend this but this is what we're doing we'll see if it makes the half hour drive back home all right so this is the finished product We've got the winch going all the way across We've got a strap going over that one and slacks coming up and kind of holding that one down We've got another strap going over the back too along with the winch so they're definitely not falling off the back and solid definitely not going to fall off the back and hit somebody's car or something and then all the ones in the middle are being squished that one's basically in a dog pile i think osha would approve don't you think, I think so. or what is it the iihs international highway safety something yeah uh, dot 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 approved so we're gonna see what we can go do with these things Okay, so we got them all home, got them off the trailer. He also got these last night. Yeah, the trip went pretty well. Uh, cut to the clip. Oh no, I hope I don't knock over the cones with my jet skis. Oops. What we found, these were the two I was originally the most interested in just because they're biggest. These are both GTIs, 800s. 800s, right? I think they're 800s. I'm not sure. This one doesn't have the pump drive, the jet drive on it. This one does. The motor has a... It looks like it's got a fresh top end on it. But it turns over a little stiff, so... I don't know. There's no telling how long it's been sitting. So, this may be a runner. Only obvious problems other than the seat. Starter button's missing, but it does have this somebody put this button in there so I'm guessing that's the starter button it'd be pretty nice to have because it's got a it's technically a three-seater but it probably won't be very fast that one yeah we don't really know what we're gonna do with that one that one doesn't have a motor so we're probably not gonna do anything with it this one Corey likes this one he wants to try and get it going but the motors locked up on it so uh, this is the cleanest one out of all of them. But the motor's locked up. So, there's that. I like this one a lot. I'm going to probably try to get this one going. Uh, this one, well, actually, I say the motor's locked up. The motor's actually a part. And also locked up. Yeah, the bottom end's absolutely no good on this. It's full of water. We got boxes here with new gaskets and some new pistons so somebody was trying to rebuild it at some point but they let it sit for too long or they took it all apart and found the bottom end to be no good one or the other so this one it's just too nice so we're gonna try and swap a motor into it i think because it's the nicest one of them all we can't just let it rot uh these all of them except for which ones? Uh, this one's locked up. That one's locked up. That's an 800. That one on the end's locked up. Yeah. The one there is locked up. And then that Yamaha has no motor. So what we're probably going to do is take one of the motors out of one of the good ones. Or one of the not so good looking ones that have a good motor. Like the, that one, that one, or this one. And put it into this one. Or what I was thinking, these two yellow ones are 800s. So they're bigger motors, they're just mounted a little different. What we're thinking is we might take, uh, okay, this. Well, this one's locked up, but if that one runs, we could upgrade this one to uh, an 800. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure it's a 717 dual carb right now. And uh, the, the mounting's the same, the engines are just leaned over. And there's a little bit of a power difference, so. Yeah, so if we can get that one running, then we'll try to put it in this one. 
And if it doesn't fit or if it doesn't run, we'll get one of these and put it in there and hopefully have a good cleanish Sea-Doo XP. And then we got, whoop, we have two trailers. One's a double. I think these were made for those those uh, those GTIs over there because it's kind of a longer trailer than what those jet skis are. And then we also got this one, this little trailer, which would probably be good to pull behind the Geo. We got two other single trailers on my skis because my skis are going on, on this one. So we got three single trailers. Yeah, so th yeah, we technically have three single trailers. Yeah, this one, uh, the motor's no good on it. So that, that one's probably just going to be for parts, but it's a decent little trailer. Probably just need some tires and maybe some lights, but but uh, I think we got some summer rigs going on here. Yeah, we got to show them my two uh, Minty rigs, and I named them too, uh, which I'll be revealing on my channel. Uh, I named them Cosmo and Wanda, <laughs> which you'll see exactly why. So this is Cosmo. It's a 93 SPX uh, dual carb, and it's extremely clean, except for when I had it outside in a cover for a little while. The, uh, the thing up here deteriorated, so I just deleted it and made the, the wiring and stuff nice and clean, which I kind of prefer anyways, but it's it's pretty clean. I mean, it's pretty shiny, you know, but- it Runs think, good too. If you think that thing is clean, wait till you see Wanda. Wanda is extremely clean. And fun fact about this, this is actually, uh, there's a video on his channel. First time I ever rode a jet ski was this one right here. Look at that, he's a natural, chopping waves. Is he going to go in for a spin? Oh yeah. Nice. Now this here is Wanda. And Ooh. I just got it a couple days ago. Look how shiny this unit is. This thing is truly almost minty. Besides a couple little things like... It's purple. The, the mirror is missing. Oh. And the little straps that, that open and close this deal are you know broken but that's just from age other than that this thing is extremely clean now this is an sp and i don't know for sure yet but i think the sp has the 580 and my sbx has the 587 so they're basically absolutely identical other it's not a that, they're identical it's not a slanted motor no no it's okay. a, a you know inline standard straight yeah, ahead yeah. one uh, but this is a 92 model so and it's really, really rare to see one of the purple and pink ones in this condition. As you saw, the one out there is, it doesn't look like it, but it's this exact same ski, <laughs> just in really, really bad shape. Yeah, it is clean. That's pretty good find. Well, stay tuned. We'll uh, hopefully have some of those other jet skis out there that kind of look like jet skis, but kind of don't anymore. Hopefully we'll have some of them running. And, uh, Maybe we'll have some cool summer content for y'all.